What is going on my YouTube family? Welcome back to the Gaming Brigade and today my fellow agents as promised I'm bringing you an updated video in regard to the reconfiguration of exotic weapons. However, as we begin I need to cover something really quick and I'm sure most of you have already seen the message you're looking at on screen right now. And you can see as of my recording this video there is an issue in the game where if you try to reconfigure any exotic that you have and your inventory is full you will completely and totally lose that exotic. You cannot get it back so make sure you have spots in your backpack and you will be totally good to go. With that part out of the way, my fellow agents, let's now get into why you are here, and that is for the reconfiguration of exotic weapons. And for those of you that may not know, the big change that they made with Project Resolve, aka Title Update 20, is that now you have the ability to reconfigure any exotic weapon you want until you get the random third attribute of your choosing. And I know many of you out there may be just looking for damage to targets out of cover, but the point is now moving forward. You can truly design the perfect exotic weapon for you and your play style. So today I want to walk you through the entire process so you can see how it works. Now I'm going to give you two examples and we are going to begin with a capacitor. You can see it's marked as a favorite. So when I go to reconfigure it, there is a message on the screen that says, hey, this is one of your favorite items. Are you sure you want to break this thing down? Because when you do, it's gone. Like we're, we're going to give you another one, but it may not be as good. It may not be what you're looking for. We just want to be sure. Now my answer is yes, because again, I am trying to get a different third attribute. And as you can see in my first attempt, it changed to crit hit damage. However, that is not what I'm looking for. So I'm going Going to continue this process until I actually get what I want and that brings me to the most important point of this video and that is to remind you to not destroy the exotic weapon even though it may not be the exact version you're looking for because remember as the game said previously you are completely destroying the first one you are creating a brand new one not an additional one so that's the only one you have so to be very clear you will need to continue this process over and over until you actually get the one you're looking for yes that's going to cost resources you can see here it's took what like five attempts and now that I have the version I've been trying to create the first thing I'm going to do is go to my inventory I strongly suggest you do the same thing mark it as a favorite that way you cannot accidentally deconstruct it because that would absolutely suck now another question many of you have is if you're going to lose your expertise on a certain weapon when you're trying to reconfigure it and the answer is absolutely not. So you can see here I do have my Scorpio, it's at expertise level 12. And once again I'm going to continue this process until I get damage to targets out of cover on this weapon. And yes I spent resources maximizing this thing a while back and you know you're going to lose those. Like that is not something you are ever going to get back. But when you look at that third attribute on certain weapons and you think I really don't need that on this thing, that is where having the ability to change this is really going to come into play let me know your thoughts in the video description down below now obviously I want to show you an example that you will not lose your expertise and you'll notice on my first attempt of reconfiguring the Scorpio it went from crit hit damage to crit hit chance that's not what I want but the expertise level is still there so I'm going to once again continue this process until I get exactly what I'm looking for and as soon as I get the version I want I am immediately going to go to my inventory mark it as a favorite Hope this video helps you out, my friends, and as always, questions, comments, or feedback, please let me know, and I will do my best to get back to you as quick as I can. One final thing I'd like to address really quick, many of you have reached out to the channel saying, hey, the game is telling me I don't have enough materials to upgrade my item, but it's not letting me know what I'm missing. Thankfully, there is a fix that is ready to be introduced into the game, and as of my recording this video, we can expect to see that in Title Update 20.1 that should be within the next few weeks. I will keep you posted on any updates, and like I said before, any other questions questions, please let me know. Now as I start to wrap this video up, I want to let you know later today I will be posting a news update in regard to some issues people are having in the game. We'll talk about bugs, known issues, all of that stuff. Any problems you are having, please let me know in the comments section. And one final question I want to address really quick is many of you are wondering with this new ability, you know, because we now can get a random third attribute on these exotic weapons, does that mean when you're farming for exotics, these weapons can roll with a random third attribute? And the answer is yes. So you want to take into account a few different things when you're doing this, I will be putting together a dedicated video in regard to recalibration, your library, optimization, all of those things as well. So make sure you turn on those notifications, my friends. We have a lot to look forward to. At this point, I need to take this new Scorpio for a test drive, but I want to thank you all for your incredible support of this channel. I sincerely appreciate the privilege of your time, and as I mentioned at the end of every one of these, if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe or join button. If you enjoyed this, you could hit that like button as well but most importantly take care of yourselves be kind to each other and we will talk to you soon thanks again everyone
According to the schematics Isaac pulled upstairs, we can lock that tunnel door from their control center. That should keep them from being able to transport those borders loaded with DC-62. That should keep them from getting more of those mortars. You think you go to the tunnel with the star? Fuck you! You lost or something with us! I'm gonna show you rock down here! Campus has taken position inside the memorial. And stop them. I know they would have used those weapons on us, and we would have ended up like Castle. I can't tell you how relieved I am to have you on our side. Thank you. Today, we dealt a great blow to the True Sun's infrastructure. 